Communities of color have been hard hit by COVID-19. Dr. Stefan Wallace, an epidemiologist at the COVID-19 Prevention Network, works to address these disparities by improving health and science understanding among the people most at risk during this pandemic. For many people, science is still very much a mystery. It still feels like there's a veil over this process. Part of my role is to take this veil off. The COVID-19 Prevention Network works globally to design and coordinate testing vaccines and monoclonal antibodies. The goal is to reach communities that are more impacted by COVID-19. Here in the U.S., it's Black communities, Indigenous Native communities, Asian communities, Hispanic and Latin communities, as well as older adults. We're seeing hospitalization and death rates in Black communities that are two to five times higher than their white counterparts. This pain, for many people, it feels unnecessary. There could have been more done to prevent this from happening. But there are lots of factors there. There's a huge wealth gap in this country. People who have lower wage paying jobs don't have the same kinds of benefits that other people might have. They aren't able to work from home or they may not have adequate childcare. Often I encounter mis and misinformation about COVID-19. The distrust in, in science and medicine is rooted in day-to-day -day experiences with systems that routinely show them that their lives don't matter. Everyday experiences of racism and xenophobia contribute to people's hesitancy and skepticism. But if they're hesitant, if they're skeptical, this is an opportunity to provide information and to build a relationship. How do we demystify this idea of vaccines, this idea of science? We do it by translating the science and communicating it plainly. Vaccines have helped to reduce the disease burden people now don't even think about smallpox and polio because vaccines did what they were supposed to do. Now community members say that they've changed their mind about getting vaccinated, that they believe enough in the science to take the step. And that to me is really powerful.